Hello, this is the second part of the video where we created the 100% outside air system and now what we're going to do is put heat recovery in that unit. I'm going to start off just by dragging a box across, right clicking with my mouse, doing a copy and then paste that right down below so you can kind of see the difference here in what we're doing. Next I'm going to zoom in here a titch and just make that heat exchange a little smaller as well as the cooling coil there. Move this damper down as well as the louver. Next I'm going to hold my shift button down and click on each one of these plenum in the rooftop unit and then I'm going to double left click and come in so you see they're all highlighted at the top and I'm going to do show split plenum. Now every plenum is split there. I can move that filter down just a bit. Now I'm going to come to the rooftop unit tab and I'm going to come over to the rooftop unit and grab me a heat recovery unit, heat text, silica gel, let's put this one right here. Drop it on my air handler, okay, and then you'll see I now have a place down here to drop it down in the airflow diagram. Okay, we'll just kind of move that over there. And then I'll probably just move these loads over here a bit. Let's just bring this down a little bit further here. Okay, next what I'm going to do is now add a few more things to that. I'm going to expand, expand that up so you can see that handles the whole plenum there. And then we also need uh, a return relief fan. So I'm going to go to my uh, rooftop unit and grab me, you know, We'll use an exhaust fan here in this case. Inline, you know, let's put a mixed flow fan in here. Drop that in the space. Okay, drop that down. It kind of dropped it down there. We'll move it up there and we'll rotate that around 180 degrees. As well as this one. So now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to delete these fans off the project and the ductwork. I'm going to come and hook in to that fan. Make the connection to that other grill, the dishwasher hood. Then select onto the fan here. So a few of the things I want in here. We'll put a filter in because filters are needed. Back on the rooftop unit over here. Flat filter, Merv, 7, cartridge type, throw away, whatever you want there. We'll put that in for filtration before the heat recovery unit to keep it nice and clean. We can also add an outside air damper. You gotta be able to control the damper and excuse me, we want a return air damper. We'll put that in there. We have to just rotate that 180 degrees. You see when I put that filter in there, it, I need to make that plenum a split one as well. I'll put it in one big plenum there. Okay, then the other thing we should grab is a louver that goes in that the end of the rooftop unit. We'll drop that right in there. It'll give me a louver to hook on over here. Connect over here. Okay. Next of all, we will hit calculation to see what's calculating. And now I need to come in here. Before I had entered the exhaust in that fan, and we can enter exhaust in fans or spaces. So now I just need to come in that fan and put 4,500 CFM. And now we should get everything calculating. Nothing on the load of the this unit right here, the heat recovery. So let me come in here and just go to that unit and hit select. So now we have a selection of that. Now the temperatures will pass back and forth. So once again, down here, we're bringing in zero degree outside air, uh, coming there, hitting the heat recovery, 50 degrees, heating it up to 86, bringing in 100% outside air in the summer of 100 degree. And now with the heat recovery unit, that's reduced down. So now we have 82 degree air see, seeing the coil. Now with the loads, uh, we can relook at the reduction in loads. Just click on that, and you'll see we're reduced to 170,000. 
up above we were 458 here we're reduced down to the 133 BTUs of cooling up above it was in the $200,000 <coughs> BT range excuse me so that's how you create an air-to-air -air heat exchanger in a rooftop unit the same would be in an air handler uh, our rooftop units are kind of have the green shading the air handlers are all uh, gray shading anyway Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful.